What is going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today is going to be pretty busy. I finally bit the bullet and as a Christmas present, I brought my girlfriend's 350Z over here to the shop. So if you guys don't know about this, I bought this 350Z in a video not too long ago along with a red 350z that i bought like a couple of days later and i drive the red one she hasn't been able to drive this one yet obviously this this car is a little out of shape all the bumpers and like all this like wide body stuff you guys see the fenders are cut they're all inside the car there is an engine in it it actually has 40,000 miles in it it's a de and that's the whole entire reason behind why we got it now it is an automatic transmission but i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to maybe show you guys a couple of videos a couple of how-to videos on a 350z because I know you guys own a lot of them as far as the Q50 goes we're really just gonna be doing some maintenance on this because this is gonna be our road car for the weekend and I brought this out here just to warm it up so that way I could take it out because I gotta go do errands because we're really freaking busy we actually got another drift event tomorrow and it's actually gonna be my first time at OSW which, which is great because they surround their whole entire event around building up the drifting scene i don't know man i've gotten really into it it's becoming really exciting and it has been almost one of my favorite things to do within the past couple of weeks and I, I just really love learning the sport i mean like there's a lot of other things that i did like as a kid you know that i got to learn and was really fun you know like normal sports but like i can't do that now you know at least not at like some level of competitiveness I don't know I just kind of like drifting for the purity that I have in it right now you know like I just don't know a lot and I'm still learning a lot and it's fun to learn and I'm having fun while doing it and I still don't care if I mess up and like I'm taking risks and challenges but being smart and like I'm scared you know so it's just all that mixed into one makes for a really good sport and a really good time. I don't know if you've guys seen this dope ass boost gauge, but shout out to ES Customs. I'm gonna put his link down in the description below, but he hooked me up with this like dual gauge plus magnetic phone mount. I got all the configurations that I would need on here. I'm not complaining, but I do kind of hate how you got to put this car into sport mode every single time. At least I don't have to go through a whole dance of taking traction control off because it's just right there. Just to check underneath it, just to make sure we're not leaking no more coolant. Good news is, we're not, which is awesome. So now we're just gonna start bringing it down, get it ready. Man, dude, this thing literally, it smells like mint. So I changed over to 10W30 racing oil. I use Ames oil now. I got an account with them. If any of y'all want an oil discount, hit up your boy, you know what I'm saying. Now that we're using this 10W30, I got some racing oil. I got a whole bunch of oil for the 240. Ames oil as well. unhealthy my oil is. Yeah, it's what happens when you eat McDonald's. Oh, that's yeah. oh. So if you guys see, this is just all fuel and just corroded oil. So this is what happens when you run on the wrong map and you're trying to run on E85. This KA is kind of peaceful to work on. It's actually not that bad to stick your hand in here. Am I making it onto the floor or onto the pan? Pan. Oh, dude, I'm a fucking beast. <laughs> Good placement. It's like damn near so. Can you? Oh, yeah. Stick it like in there a little bit more. You can kind of like see some of the shit in there. That's wild. You see how this looks different? That's so funny. Mm hmm. Half the price, son. Yeah, it doesn't smell as good. Why? Half the price, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys able to 
would have seen my boost. Did my uh, boost cut it out? It was at like 16. And then I saw it. It was steady though. Was it steady? Yeah, I didn't see it moving at all. All right, I'll check it in the fucking. Uh, as long as the I idle cut at the top a second. Good. Though, right? It cut at yeah, the top when he of, launched yeah, it. Yeah, but I felt the beginning of the top of second. Because it either I liked it when it just <laughs> smacked into third just at from the, the torque, and it's a stock yeah. trans. But yeah. what I think happened is like midway through fourth year, like it just cut out. Like I felt it at the end of third, and then fourth year it started going out. Oh, that's weird. That might be a fuel injector. You hear something? You said. I couldn't tell. Was that the tires that were like giving out? Yeah, you hear that clicking? It's, it's in the back. back. back Did an axle go out? It's just weird. Alright, so that's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's still on the correct tension. So then what happened? Dot four brake fluid. Did you? You're a fucking man. There's some more stuff that I want that we're gonna get. Ooh, I need power steering. Jordan, power steering fluid. Get this. Get this. Not this. Let me get this. Oh, it's nasty. Was the tire flat? I almost feel it. Did you? Do you feel it? Yeah, I can literally feel the click on the seat. Really? As I try and break it, see if it breaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this one closed? There's no way. It's a fan of parts. What are those? Uh, this, uh, the factory fuses. These yeah. are worth something. Some, maybe someday. No, probably not. All right. So I got to look for the fuel pump. Start the car, let it run, then pull the fuse, and then the car should die out. And then all the fuel in there should be gone. So. Hmm. Where's the fuel pump? <laughs> I'll remove that. Hmm. Do I need to? Yeah, I do. Which is ass. Every single series of like a 240 is completely different. Really? Like one fuse is supposed to be in here in the driver panel that I'm like trying to put together at the moment. Mm -hmm. Am I even putting it the right way? Of course not.
away, huh? That was a <laughs> asshole and a half to pull out. That sucks. <laughs> I was only able to get one fuel injector from anywhere locally. Uh, I ordered from this one spot, but it doesn't open until 9 a.m. tomorrow, and it's closed at 5 a.m. or 5 p.m. And uh, yeah, I was just unable to make it. So I can only get one fuel injector, which is technically all I really need because it was only Bank One that was uh, running too rich. And we pulled the fuel injector last time; it was dirty. We also pulled the spark plug and it was filthy. So I want to see if maybe I could just replace this instead of just replacing the O-ring and being lazy and doing it right. I would like to do the whole entire set because that's kind of how I roll. But if this is the only one that we can get, then we might as well replace the bad one um, just to ensure that this car doesn't uh, have any faulty issues when we go out about two hours out to a drift event. Brake lines. Brake lines. Brake lines. Uh. Stop, right here. It's about to in your eye. Ooh, you hit the man. So wait, what is... Is it the caliber? Yeah. So what is it in the brake line? It's the caliber. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, well. We have a huge puddle underneath the tire, and then when I went to go check the actual brake line, the whole entire thing was dry. I didn't see any budges in the rubber, but when I, we looked at the caliber, the whole entire thing was just soaked. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to order another one and wait to install the brake lines just because we don't want to build the pressure up twice and waste a bunch of brake fluid for no reason because it's going to leak anyways. Now we're just going to put the 350Z tires on, take the 300ZX tires, put them somewhere in storage so that way we can take them to the event tomorrow. And then we'll finally bring Ali's 350Z in, put it on the lift and finally get to look under it and uh, see what it looks like. I'm interested to see what it looks like on the lip. Turn a little left, straight, a little left, a little left, a little left, straight, 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 straight. Oh. Alright, push a little more. You got it. You're welcome. Thanks, baby. Alright, so we finished up with the 240, uh, we finished up with the Q, we brought the 350Z in. I took a few minutes to look under it. It's missing some stuff. We already put new camshaft sensors in. It's missing a battery. 
and it's missing a crankshaft sensor. So we're gonna go ahead and get a new battery, get a crankshaft sensor. It doesn't have a radiator, but I do want to make sure it starts, and I don't need a radiator to make sure it starts. So I, I'm gonna get those two things and see if it starts up, and hopefully there's no like wiring issues or knock or anything like that. So. I'm gonna bring these cars in real quick and I'm gonna call it a night because I gotta be up at like really really early like 6 30 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow for this drift event and hopefully hopefully these tires I only have one set of tires and I can't do the 18s because that's the only way I get home so hopefully these tires last at least a couple of laps for me which is not much it's not like I'm no tire slayer so I appreciate you guys for watching this video if you guys stay to the end please make sure to hit that like like button, make sure to share with your friends, comment and subscribe. I love being able to do this for you guys and I really hope you guys enjoy tomorrow's video. But that's gonna be it guys, I'm Double R and I'm out.